Hey guys, welcome back to Karting with Chris. Today's video is going to be the Dallas Karting Complex final race. Now the reason I say final race is because what you're watching right now is my pre-final footage and what I forgot to do was hit record on the GoPro. So obviously I did hit record on the GoPro. What I forgot was that I hit record on the GoPro and when I hit it again, it turned off the video. So during the final race, I thought I had the video recording, but in reality, it was not. So for the pre-final race, I qualified in fourth place out of 20, which is pretty good. It wasn't that bad. Um, and then at the beginning of the race, we dropped down a couple positions, but we gained them back in the next couple laps. And then a lap later, we got up into third. And then for the rest of the race, it was kind of boring. I was trying to catch up to the top two didn't quite happen so it wasn't a total loss but it would have been nice to have that footage now we are going to skip ahead to the final race this is not the actual race this is the warm-up lap and yes they did give us a entire warm-up lap now normally at DKC they only give you a couple corners to warm up your tires and actually in the pre-final they didn't give us a single warm-up lap we just came right out of the pits and started going but it is very cold today and so they decided to give us a couple warm-up laps, or one warm-up lap, I should say. Um, and if you're wondering how cold it is, let me just tell you, I'm wearing two jackets. That's how cold it is. So the main thing I'm doing for this warm-up lap is obviously warming up the tires, but really making sure I've got good brakes going into the first corner. I wanna have good brakes, make sure there's nothing unexpected in the first lap. So like I said at the beginning, we finished the pre-final in third, so that means we're starting the final in third. We've got the inside, so that's going to help us out. Hopefully we can gain some positions. If not, keep our position. We're fine with that. So we're rounding out the last corner here. We're going to push number six here. He's the pole sitter. We're going to wait for that flag man to wave green. He waves green and we're good to go. So right off the bat, we're just going to push number six. If someone tries to dive on our inside, we're going to try and block it, but no one dives on our inside. Um, so going through turn one here. We're just gonna hold it narrow. And then um, they are doing a different configuration for this track. So normally you would turn right and then keep turning right. Here we turn right and then immediately turn left here. We're still in third place. Um, number six and 18 are going side by side. I'm gonna follow number six because I wanna gain a position. 18 holds it around the corner very nicely. So I switch to 18, follow 18. Uh, 18's got the inside for these next couple corners here. Push number six out wide, not too wide obviously and now we're up into second place. So we are one lap into this race already and uh, we're gonna push number 18. I point him forward, I say, hey, don't block me. Let's work together, let's pull away from these kids back here. Um, and I think he was willing to go with it. Uh, I wag my finger, or point my finger I should say, just to make sure he gets the message. Um, obviously if he's slow, I'm gonna try and pass him. But at this moment, I'm just judging to see where his pace is at. So going through here, uh, he goes in really slowly and um, you know I had to bang into the back of him lose a little momentum coming through this corner right here I get lunged a little bit and you can see that um, I'm really not near him but you can see we're catching him on the straights here I'm actually gonna go for a bit of a late move going through turn one I've got someone behind me pushing me we're gonna go up into first place here and now we're just gonna try our best to pull away from people so I point forward, telling the guy behind me, hey, let's work together, pull away from people, because there still is a lot of people congested back there. We're still on lap three, so gaps really haven't formed yet. Um, but one thing to note is I was talking to someone in the pits beforehand, um, the guy who started in fourth, actually, cart number eight. You'll see him later. Um, he was the guy who was pushing me into that move. I told him before the race, I said, look, um, I saw you in the pre-final. I know you're quick. Um, if you ever get the chance uh, let's work together uh, I'll do the same for you I'll help you and so he really helped me out there pushed me helped me get into first and I'm actually starting to form a bit of a gap from the people behind because I don't think he quite was able to follow me into that move for first so obviously this is kind of the scenario we want we want to pull away from people behind uh, so we can just check out of this race and make sure that we're unchallenged very easy to say, really hard to do, um, especially since today I felt like the carts had big gaps in pace. Like the person who would win would have 
way faster cart than the person in like third or fourth. So um, this cart I have here is incredibly average. As you can see, it was faster than 18 down the straights. 18 didn't look like a very good cart to me. This cart I have here, it's average on the straights, average on the brakes, and average through the corners. Um, I will say it is very cold. Um, and it took forever for me to heat up the tires. I don't know what kind of compounds they're running here, but I'm pretty sure they're a harder compound. And so um, it was very hard for me to warm up the tires. But going down the straight here, we look at the flag man. He's giving us a little gesture here. It's kind of hard to see. And that's him telling me the people behind you are catching up to me. So I don't know if that message was specifically for me, um, but I did understand what he was saying basically saying the gap between me and the guy behind me is getting smaller. So at this point, I got to try my best to put down some really good consistent lap times. Easier said than done, but uh, we're going to try our best. One thing I will say is this corner right here, this left-hander, this was my main enemy throughout the day. You can see there's a lot of mud on the outside. A lot of people were going wide out there, bringing mud onto the track, but um, I was just struggling to get the cart to rotate around that corner. But um, going through turn one here, um, I actually did this corner pretty nicely in this scenario right here, if I do say so myself. But you will see me throughout this race lock up the tires through turn one, and that's mainly because I just could not get heat in the tires. Now, you can't see it because I don't have a backwards camera, but there is someone behind me, and they're about one or two car lengths behind me, so they're pretty much within striking range. Um, going through this left-hander here, I go really wide, and that didn't really help me because um, going down this straight, you know, you want to get that last corner right so you aren't compromised. I tap my helmet saying, hey, bro, let's work together. Going into turn one, I lock up the tires. Like I said, could not get the, the tires to heat up. Uh, we drop down into second here. We've got number 24 up ahead. And you know what? I'm not that upset about that. Maybe 24 is faster. He can help us uh, move along. Um, definitely when someone does pass you like that, they're obviously faster than you. So you want to see, first of all, where they're faster than you. But second of all, where you're faster than them in case you have to pass them back again. So we've been behind 24 for a couple corners now. And we can see that his cart isn't really that much faster on the straights. He's not like pulling me like crazy. But we're not catching up to him. So I would say they're about even there. Through the corners, I want to say he might have a little better handling than me but I think he's just better at coping with colder tires. So he's just overall a little bit faster than me as a driver, but he's not really pulling me that much, except through this right-hander right here. You can see I get a little bit of understeer, maybe going in a little too hot there. And um, 24 is slowly pulling away from me. So going through this left-hander right here, you can see 24 got it a little better than me. So he's gonna slightly pull away, but number eight, um, the guy who was working with us before, he's pushing us down the straight here, and you can see we're catching up to 24 here. So clearly number eight has a very good cart down the straight. So if he gets past us, it might be hard to catch up to us. So, but we did catch up to 24 here. And that's what we talked about before this race, that if someone does pull away, we would help each other work together. So it's good to see that he is a man of his words. Uh, going through that right-hander right there, we take it a little more tidier this time. And then going through this left-hander right here, again, not our best corner. Wasn't the worst time we took it there, but going down the straight here, uh, number eight's gonna be pushing us. Flagman's waving us uh, halfway through the race. Going into turn one here, we're going to get catastrophic understeer. You can see me turn the wheel. It's just not turning. And number eight's going to get on our inside here. We're not too upset about that. Um, you know, he can get in front of us. We're still halfway through the race. There's still plenty of time to race. Um, if he thinks he can catch up to 24 a little better, maybe duke it out with him. That's fine by me. You know, he was working together with me in the early stages of the races. It's time for me to help him. So he gets a little sideways there. I give him a little tap saying, hey, I'm willing to work with you. But you can see number 24 is just really good through the corners, and it's a little hard for us to keep up with him. Now, like I did say before, 8 was a rocket down the straights, and he actually came up to me after the race and said I had a really good cart. Um, he is a pretty good driver too, so, you know, good cart, good driver, it's going to be a good recipe. But um, 
it's still going to be a little tough to keep up with 24. We are keeping up with them, so it's not the end of the world, but um, going through this right-hander right here, I think number 8 goes in a little too hot. You can see he's offline, and I'm having to back off a little bit, and that's where you see 24 will pull away. Um, same through this left-hander here. I think he was struggling just as much as me. And then going down the straight, you can see uh, 24 has pulled away from us because of the corners, but 8's reeling it back in because he's just got that straight line speed. Now, like I said before, I do not have a backwards camera on this race, but there is someone behind me. Um, they're not directly behind me. They're really not a threat at this moment, but if I do make a mistake, i.e. go off track or something, then he will be in striking range, or if it's bad enough, he will be able to pass me. So we're gonna try our best to keep up with these top two guys. Little easier said than done. Um, but through the corners, I think we can keep up with number eight. It's just down the straights, as you can see right here, we're just not good enough. So we are on lap 14 now. We're still in third, which is pretty good. That's still a podium. We'll still get a medal of some sort if we keep this up. But um, we can see the top two have kind of pulled away from me. Through this right and then left-hander right here, I noticed I would be a little bit faster than them through here. Number eight did not get it perfectly through there, so we caught up to the bumper of him, or the back of his bumper, but not enough to pass him. Um, and then going through this left-hander right here, again, really struggling through that corner, and we're just not close enough to catch up to him. So you can see we're making mistakes here and there, whether it be locking up the tires, turning in too late, going into a corner too hot, and that's really, ruining my race um, it's not ruining it but it's not allowing us to be within striking range of the people in front and it is allowing the guy behind to start to catch up to me which is not good at all we want this battle to be with these three people because worst case scenario i end up in third place so going through this left hander right here we're gonna go a little too wide dip one wheel into the mud that's enough to ruin our momentum the guy from behind is able to drive around us he's up into third now and we're down into fourth place we're on lap 16 going to turn one we've got mud on our tires so we're going to take it nice and easy um, if you've never had mud on your tires it takes a while to get the mud off so that's not going to help us with these next couple of corners the top two have now pulled away um, the guy in third has also pulled away, um, so we're not looking like this is going to end very well. Um, but luckily, fifth place is really not near us at all, so we just got to put our head down, hope these top three guys start to battle a little more, and us come back into the equation. So that one little mistake is cost us basically the race. I mean, we still have three or four more laps left, so it's not over. Never say it's over till the checkered flag, but um, it's gonna be difficult race from here on. Um, but really what I'm hoping at this point is the top three just battle a little more. It's looking like they're not battling too much or as much as I would hope they would, um, but we can see some back markers up ahead and hopefully that will slow them down and not slow us down. So as we are trying to catch up to these top three drivers, let me walk you through what I think a good lap around this configuration is. Um, just keep in mind it is cold, so your lines may vary. Going into this left-hander right here, you wanna get right next to that apex. I was struggling with understeer because again, it's kind of cold. Um, going through this quick right left-hander up here, you can carry a lot more speed than you think. Trust me, the cart can handle it. Trick is get on the gas really early. Trust me, you can handle it. Going through this right-hander right here, you gotta really wait for the cart to rotate, then get on the gas, and then the rest of this should be full throttle. Uh, again, this left-hander was a little tricky on this day. I think on a normal day, you should be fine. And then to the finish line, I was doing mid to low 39s. Don't know if that's fast, but that's what I was doing. So looking into this race now, we can see that the top two have pulled away from the guy in third. Um, up ahead, there are some back markers intermingled with them. So hopefully the back markers can hold up the guy in third, because the guy in third is the guy directly in front of us right now. Um, so I've never been to DKC where I've passed a back marker, so I don't really know how they behave. Going through this left-hander right here, we can see the guy in third passes one of the back markers, and he manages to get around another one going down the straight. 
So it's looking like the back markers didn't really hold him up as much as we wanted them to. I point uh, to the back markers telling that uh, corner worker right there saying blue flag these guys um, because again, I don't know if they're gonna take me out or not. The guy in fifth directly behind me um, isn't really that close, but again, I don't want these guys taking me out. But going through this left-hander right here, cart number 19 goes a little wide. We are able to hold it around the outside, gain a position there. And then going through this left-hander up here, that's going to be it. We're not going to be close enough to the guy in third. Um, I banged my fist on the steering wheel there. Um, not really because I was angry with the position, but I was just mad at myself for making so many mistakes, especially dipping a wheel into the mud. But overall, I had a really fun time. Uh, normally at these DKC races, I do have a lot of fun. Um, I don't really come here to be super competitive. I mainly try and be more competitive at NTK. Really just come here to hang out with some friends and just chill. But um, this was a fun race in my opinion. Uh, congratulations to all the people who got first, second, and third. Um, they are pretty quick, so it was um, really hard to keep up with them. But that's all I'm going to have for today. If you liked the video, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, please comment below. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.